today I thought I'd do a two-in-one video. Um, the first part being a Topshop haul of the stuff I have recently bought at Topshop. It's a very it's a mini haul, I suppose you could say. Um, and the second part of this is a 20 questions tag. These are 20 random questions that have been asked. Uh, not necessarily, well they are all about me, but they're not the simple, you know, how old are you, where are you from, stuff like that. These are just random questions. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. The haul I will start with. Ooh, I've just had a thought actually. I actually said it's a Topshop haul, however there are a couple of Marks and Spencer's items in here. So, here is the Topshop bag. It's quite a big bag actually, um, however... Topshop was the first shop I went into, so I just bought the bag and then anything else I bought after that, I've just asked to put it in here. So I'm going to start off with Marks and Spencers. I've just bought two sets of bras, um, so not very interesting. This one is just like a, a floral type pattern and the underneath one is just like a plain, would you say that's blue, grey or lilac? It's like a grey lilac. Um, and then <clears throat> I really needed a black bra so I just bought a two in one which is another white with floral and <clears throat> black underneath. Um, so that is it. These were the first ones I picked up actually and then <clears throat> this set is uh, a two pack for £20 and this one, this would have been a two pack for £22 however it was in the sale at £6.99 so that's worked out quite a bargain. So... Oh, and then the other two things that I bought are two for one chocolate, uh, not two for one, two for eight pound chocolates. They were just on offer. I was really hungry at the time, so I ended up just buying them. I really shouldn't have done that. Okay, so at Topshop, I actually bought three items, which actually turns out you actually probably could have all three in the same outfit but that wasn't the intention I actually went in there for blue trousers uh, well blue jeans should I say um, so it's just like a little bit faded on the knee and they are skinny although they look quite straight ah well this is the thing that I liked most about them actually the bottom of them is like um, I don't know how to explain it it has a specific design and it's not like sewn it's not a neat cut should I say it's got like all the little um, you know like the little material and stuff like that it just gives it a little bit extra rather than it just being a plain blue jean and uh, these are Lee if it'll there we go uh, and they are just super soft ankle grazers and they cost 40 pounds um, the reason why I bought them is because I have a light blue ripped set of jeans and a black pair. So I wanted a blue pair that I can wear in winter when my knees aren't out getting cold. Uh, and then this top, now that looks massive, but it's a size 6 and it's one of them ones where like the collar at the front is like still on. So you've got like this kind of detail here um, and it's just a normal t-shirt type thing. Uh, it's a size 6 because it's quite big and I don't really want it any bigger than that because I'm normally an 8 on the top half. That was £20. There is actually a sale at Topshop but I find that I just can't find anything in the sale but I think that's because I'm not patient enough to look. And then the last thing I bought are just a pair of shoes. So these are just a standard uh, dolly type shoe kind of but they have like little gold. Um, they're kind of like studs, but they're flush studs, so they're flush to the material. They're not just gold printed dots, if you know what I mean. They actually don't look very good on camera, but in person they are actually quite cute. So that's everything that I bought today. Um, as I said, it is literally a mini haul. I think the only other thing that I did was went and did a food shop, but that's not very interesting to show anybody. So um, I'm just going to jump straight into the tag part of this video. There are just 20 questions and I'm just going to reel them off dead quick. That would be, that's actually a lot of stuff. I have to have my handbag and it has to have my purse, my keys, inhaler, EpiPen, tablets, because you never know if you're going to get a headache, Gavis gone because I used to suffer really bad with heartburn. That's probably it.
Ooh, this one's a really hard question because I don't actually stick to one type of makeup. My foundation is Urban Decay. Now, I would not have any other foundation peeled because I used to have really bad acne prone skin and the only foundation I ever came across was Urban Decay and that's because it's lightweight but still good coverage. I've tried MAC, um, oh, all the ones in the shops. The only one I haven't tried probably is Benefit. Is that it? I've literally tried everything. Bare Minerals. Uh, is it Soap Box? What's that? I can't remember. But I've tried so many. Urban Decay ended up being my love it or leave it foundation basically. So if I had to pick one it'd probably be Urban Decay. Ooh, that's a really odd question. I would say it would be... I think it's lilies, like white lilies. That is a really hard one because I really, really like Topshop, but I feel like they're very hit and miss. Like some seasons they'll have really good stuff and other seasons it's just stuff that I personally wouldn't wear. But the place that I've probably purchased the most stuff from is Topshop, so I'll go with Topshop. my go-to perfume since the year dot since i started wearing perfume was dolce and gabbana the one i'm actually quite tall so i would say i'm about five foot ten and my boyfriend is about five foot eleven so as soon as i wear a heel i'm just that tiny bit taller than him so if i could find nice going out flats then it'd be flats i think flats are a lot more comfier more practical but they don't always look as good when you try and dress up an outfit sometimes heels is just the one but i suppose if i had to pick one to live in forever it'd be flats just because i'm already quite tall anyway so it's not like i need any extra height or anything like that yes yeah i did actually get good grades. I'm not like trying to brag or anything like that. Here in the UK we do GCSEs um, at the end of like high school and I got anywhere in between A store and a C which is all you really need. I think I only got a couple of C's so I didn't do too bad and then when I was at college I got like a triple distinction star or double distinction stars, something like that, distinction stars anyway. So I did quite well for myself, although saying that, nothing I did at college I'm actually doing anything to do with now, but there we go. Now I don't know whether this is to wear or for your room or for your bedding or whatever, but it, and I don't really have a favourite colour, but if I had to pick a colour it would be white. Just because I really do like the clean white look, whether it's bedding, clothing, the walls, whatever it might be, it'd probably have to be white if I had to live in it forever, but then white gets dirty quickly, doesn't it? So, but we'll go with white. Yes, I do. That is probably my biggest flaw because I don't really drink alcohol or smoke. Uh, but I do have an energy drink I'd say every other day so but then again I don't drink tea or coffee so don't get me get me caffeine elsewhere but still I think they're like the worst type of caffeine you can have but yes I do um this one I don't know whether we're actually saying like concentrated juice like proper juice like orange juice or like squash kind of juice because i'm more of a squash type of person um in the us i don't know what you call it i don't know i don't think you call it squash i think you just call it like a, a cordial maybe i think someone in the someone who's watching this needs to comment below whether you call it squash like the the concentrated juices you can get where you add water to it like we have robinson's for example Whatever it might be, just let me know. And if it is squash, I'd like to know the answer to this question anyway. 
Yes, I do like swimming, but I usually only ever swim abroad. Can't remember the last time I swam in England. It's not really a swimming country, so unless you go to like a water park, it's not. It's more of like a kid thing, or unless you're into it sports-wise, which I'm not. So yeah, I do like swimming, but abroad. Not in the sea though, actually. I had quite a scare with the sea, so. Depends where I am, if I go to McDonald's, no, but if I'm at home, then usually I would. That would be either Elemis for oily skin or number seven. Yeah, I move between the two. Yes, I do want to get married later on in life. Yes. I actually do get mad quite easily like I get agitated quickly I think that's what it is like I'm not an ah I'm angry kind of person I just get agitated um no ghost hunting is not my thing I don't like paranormal stuff it freaks the hell out of me so I wouldn't intentionally go ghost, ghost hunting didn't think I do have any phobias now that I mention it. Um, if I do I don't know about it but I really don't like spiders but I don't really know if it's actually a phobia or not. I think a phobia is something that's, that is that bad that you'd have like a panic attack if you were <clears throat> set up against it I suppose. No, actually, this is one of my biggest pet peeves. It actually really irritates me hearing someone bite their nails, but I'm not the kind of person that'd be like, stop it! Do you know what I mean? I just don't like it, and I've just never been into it. I don't even think as a child I did it, so. Don't actually think I have. <laughs> I think the only near-death experience I had, I suppose, was when I was born and I had pneumonia and I was in an incubator for a few months um because they had to like force breathe me i think is the word but i don't think anything else other than that i think that's it so i've been quite lucky touch wood yes i do drink dr 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 i do drink coffee but only on the weekends because we have an espresso machine so i make use of it on the weekends i'll have coffee instead of an energy drink so i compromise so anyway, um, so I'm just going to excuse my hair, it's really hot today so I just put it up so I'm really sorry about that, um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you know exactly what they call squash in the US then comment below and if you haven't already then subscribe guys, alright, bye guys.